Ramon Luli. Ramon Lul, TOSF, Catalan, circa 1232 to circa 1315, anglicized Raymond Luli, Raymond Lull, in Latin Raymondus or Raymondus Lullus or Lullius, was a mathematician, polymath, philosopher, logician, Franciscan tertiary and writer from the Kingdom of Majorca. He is credited with writing the first major work of Catalan literature. Recently surfaced manuscripts show his work to have predated by several centuries prominent work on elections theory. He is also considered a pioneer of computation theory, especially given his influence on Leibniz. Saint or Heretic Since Lul's first writings, there has been confusion in the church regarding whether he was a saint or a heretic. Lul has had a canonization process open in the Vatican since the times of Philip II. King Philip was one of the promoters of this process. The Spanish king was extremely fond of his work and used parts of it in the creation of the Monasterio del Escorial. Prior to that, Lul was considered a heretic by most, and the debate regarding both King Philip II and him continued in Rome long afterwards. Lul's works were prohibited by the Spanish Inquisition under the same King Philip, for he considered that non-initiates could not understand them. Copies of the works were safely stored in the library of El Escorial and were consulted by Spanish scholars, mostly sympathetic to Lul's views. Within the Franciscan order Lul is honored as a martyr. He was beatified in 1847 by Pope Pius IX. His feast day was assigned to 30th of June and is celebrated by the Third Order of St. Francis. Biography Early Life and Family Lul was born into a wealthy family in Palma, the capital of the newly formed Kingdom of Majorca. James I of Aragon founded Majorca to integrate the recently conquered territories of the Balearic Islands, now part of Spain, into the crown of Aragon. Lul's parents had come from Catalonia as part of the effort to colonize the formerly Amahad ruled island. As the island had been conquered militarily, the Muslim population who had not been able to flee the conquering Christians had been enslaved, even though they still constituted a significant portion of the island's population. In 1257 Lul married Blanca Picani, with whom he had two children, Domnek and Magdalena. Although he formed a family, he lived what he would later call the licentious and wasteful life of a troubadour. Lul served as tutor to James II of Aragon, and later became Seneschal, the administrative head of the royal household, to the future King James II of Majorca, a relative of his wife. Religious Calling In 1263 Lul experienced a religious epiphany in the form of a series of visions. He narrates the event in his autobiography Vita Coetania, Daily Life. The vision came to Lul five times in all, leading him to leave his family, position, and belongings in order to pursue a life in the service of God. Specifically, he realized three intentions, to die in the service of God while converting Muslims to Christianity, to see to the founding of religious institutions that would teach foreign languages, and to write a book on how to overcome someone's objections to being converted. Following his epiphany Lul became a Franciscan tertiary, a member of the Third Order of Saint Francis, taking inspiration from Saint Francis of Assisi. After a short pilgrimage he returned to Majorca, where he purchased a Muslim slave from whom he wanted to learn Arabic. For the next nine years, until 1274, he engaged in study and contemplation in relative solitude. He read extensively in both Latin and Arabic, learning both Christian and Muslim theological and philosophical thought. Between 1271 and 1274 Lul wrote his first works, a compendium of the Muslim thinker Al-Ghazali's logic and the Yibre de Contemplatio and Deu, book on the contemplation of God a lengthy guide to finding truth through contemplation. In 1274, while staying at a hermitage on Puig de Ronda, the form of the great book Lul was to write was finally given to him through divine revelation, a complex system that he named his art, which would become the motivation behind most of his life's efforts. Missionary Work and Education Lul urged the study of Arabic and other than insufficiently studied languages in Europe, along with most of his works to convert Muslims and schismatic Christians. He traveled through Europe to meet with popes, kings, and princes, trying to establish special colleges to prepare future missionaries. In 1276 a language school for Franciscan missionaries was founded at Miramar, funded by the King of Majorca. About 1291 he went to Tunis, preached to the Saracens, disputed with them in philosophy, and after another brief sojourn in Paris, returned to the East as a missionary. Lul traveled to Tunis a second time in about 1304, and wrote numerous letters to the king of Tunis, but little else is known about this part of his life. He returned in 1308, reporting that the conversion of Muslims should be achieved through prayer, not through military force. 
he finally achieved his goal of linguistic education at major universities in 1311 when the Council of Yen ordered the creation of chairs of Hebrew, Arabic and Chaldean, Aramaic, at the universities of Bologna, Oxford, Paris, and Salamanca as well as at the Papal Court. Lul and the Immaculate Conception Following the favorable attitude of some Franciscan theologians, Lul's position on this subject was of great importance because it paved the way for the doctrine of Duns Scotus, whom he met in 1297, after which he was given the nickname Doctor Illuminatus, even if it seems that he had no direct influence on him. Lul is the first author to use the expression Immaculate Conception to designate the Virgin's exemption from original sin. He appears to have been the first to teach this doctrine publicly at the University of Paris. To explain this Marian privilege, Lul resorts to three arguments. 1. The Son of God could not become incarnate in a mother who was stained by sin in any way. 2. There had to be a certain likeness between the Son's generation without sin and the generation of his mother. 3. The second creation, that is the redemption, which began with Christ and Mary, had to happen under the sign of the most total purity, as was the case with the first creation. In a sermon entitled The Fruit of Mary's Womb, Lul states that death. In 1314, at the age of 82, Lul traveled again to North Africa where he was stoned by an angry crowd of Muslims in Tunis. Genoese merchants took him back to Majorca, where he died at home in Palma the following year. Though the traditional date of his death has been June 29, 1315, his last documents, which date from December 1315, and recent research point to the first quarter of 1316 as the most probable death date. It can be documented that Lula was buried at the Church of St. Francis in Majorca. Ryber states that the circumstances of his death remain a mystery. Zwemer, a Protestant missionary and academic, accepted the story of martyrdom, as did William Turner, writing in the Catholic Encyclopedia. Bonner gives as a reason for Lula's journey to Tunis the information that its ruler was interested in Christianity, false information given to the kings of Sicily and Aragon and relayed to Lula. Literature and Other Works Lul was extremely prolific, writing a total of more than 250 works in Catalan, Latin, and Arabic, and often translating from one language to the others. While almost all of his writings after the revelation on Mount Rhonda connect to his art in some way, he wrote on diverse subjects in a variety of styles and genres. The romantic novel Blanquerna is widely considered the first major work of literature written in Catalan, and possibly the first European novel. Lul's art, Ars Magna Lul's first elucidation of the art was in Art Abriujata Datra Barveritat, the abbreviated art of finding truth, in 1290. After spending some time teaching in France and being disappointed by the poor reception of his art among students, Lul decided to revise it. It is this revised version that he became known for. It is most clearly presented in his Ars Generalis Ultima or Ars Magna, the ultimate general art or the great art, published in 1305. The art operated by combining religious and philosophical attributes selected from a number of lists. It is believed that Lul's inspiration for the Ars Magna came from observing Arab astrologers use a device called a Zayirja. The art was intended as a debating tool for winning Muslims to the Christian faith through logic and reason. Through his detailed analytical efforts, Lul built an in-depth theosophic reference by which a reader could enter any argument or question, necessarily reduced to Christian beliefs which Lul identified as being held in common with other monotheistic religions. The reader then used visual aids and a book of charts to combine various ideas, generating statements which came together to form an answer. Dot. Mechanical Aspect One of the most significant changes between the original and the second version of the art was in the visuals used. The early version used 16 figures presented as complex, complementary trees, while the system of the Ars Magna featured only four, including one which combined the other three. This figure, a Lullian circle, took the form of a paper machine operated by rotating concentrically arranged circles to combine his symbolic alphabet, which was repeated on each level. These combinations were said to show all possible truth about the subject of inquiry. Lul based this notion on the idea that there were a limited number of basic, undeniable truths in all fields of knowledge, and that everything about these fields of knowledge could be understood by studying combinations of these elemental truths. The method was an early attempt to use logical means to produce knowledge. Lul hoped to show that Christian doctrines could be obtained artificially from a fixed set of preliminary ideas. For example, the most essential table listed the attributes of God, goodness, greatness, eternity, power, wisdom, will, virtue, truth and glory. Lul knew that all believers in the monotheistic religions, whether Jews, Muslims or Christians, would agree with these attributes, 
giving him a firm platform from which to argue. The idea was developed further for more esoteric purposes by Giordano Bruno in the 16th century, and in the 17th century by the great rationalist Gottfried Leibniz, who wrote his dissertation about Lul's art and integrated it into his metaphysics and philosophy of science. Leibniz gave Lul's idea the name Ars Combinatoria, by which it is now often known. Some computer scientists have adopted Lul as a sort of founding father, claiming that his system of logic was the beginning of information science. Other works Lul is known to have written at least 265 works, including Misattributions A considerable body of work on esoteric subjects was misattributed to Lul in the Middle Ages and Renaissance. The oeuvre of the pseudo Lul, and, by extension, that of the actual Lul, was influential among Hermeticists, Gnostics, and other esoterics. Lul himself explicitly condemned many of the subjects, such as alchemy, that he is purported to have written about. Reputation and Posthumous Reception the Roman Catholic Inquisitor Nicholas Imerich condemned 100 theories or ideas of Lul as errors in 1376. Pope Gregory XI also formally condemned 20 of his books in 1376 and the condemnation was renewed by Pope Paul IV, although Pope Martin V reversed the condemnation of Pope Gregory XI in 1416. Despite these condemnations, Lul himself remained in good standing with the Church. Chairs for the propagation of the theories of Lul were established at the University of Barcelona and the University of Valencia. He is regarded as one of the most influential authors in Catalan, the language is sometimes referred to as La Llengua de Lul, as other languages might be referred to as Shakespeare's language, English, La Langue de Molière, French, La Langue de Cervantes, Spanish, or Die Sprache Gutes, German. The logo of the Spanish Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas, Higher Council of Scientific Research, is Lul's Tree of Science. Ramon Lul University, a private university established in Barcelona in 1990, is named after the philosopher. Mathematics, Statistics, and Classification With the discovery in 2001 of his lost manuscripts, Ars Notandi, Ars Alexionis, and Alia Ars Alexionis, Lul is given credit for discovering the Bord account and Condorcet criterion which Jean-Charles de Borda and Nicolas de Condorcet independently proposed centuries later. The terms Lul winner and Lul loser are ideas in contemporary voting systems studies that are named in honor of Lul, who devised the earliest known Condorcet method in 1299. Also, Lul is recognized as a pioneer of computation theory, especially due to his great influence on Gottfried Leibniz. Lul's systems of organizing concepts using devices such as trees, ladders, and wheels have been analyzed as classification systems. Dot. Art and Architecture The inspiration of Lul's mnemonographic art wheels, reaching into contemporary art and culture, is demonstrated by Daniel Leibskin's architectural construction of the 2003 completed Studio Weil in Port Dendrach, Majorca. Studio Weil, a development of the virtuality of these mnemonic wheels which ever center and descender the universal and the personal, is built to open these circular islands which float like all artwork in the oceans of memory. Modern Fiction Paul Auster refers to Lul, as Raymond Lowell, in his memoir The Invention of Solitude in the Second Part, The Book of Memory. Lul, now going under the name Cole Hollings and revealed to be immortal, is a major character in The Box of Delights, the celebrated children's novel by poet John Macefield. He is also a major influence on the fictional characters Ermino and Thomas Salazar's The Day of the Bees, and his name, philosophies, and quotes from his writings appear throughout the novel. In Roberto Bolaño's novel 2666, Amalfitano, a Chilean professor, thinks about Ramon Lul and his fantastic machine. Fantastic in its uselessness. Adon, Leopoldo Marichal's protagonist of the novel Adon Buenos Aires, 1948, mentions Ramon Lulio when he walks past a curdy ember, a leather tanning shop, he says, Ramon Lulio. Que acan se jubano rehir del all or de las letrinas a fin de record dar a menudo lo que de el cuerpo de si mismo an su tan frequentamente olvidada miseria, edición crítica, colección archivos, 1997. Page 312, Ramon Lul advised not to shy away from the smell of outhouses, in order not to forget that which the body gives out in its often forgotten misery, in William Gaddis' first novel, The Recognitions, the final paragraph of chapter 2 alludes to Raymond Lully, as a scholar, a poet, a missionary, a mystic, and one of the foremost figures in the history of alchemy. Lul is also mentioned in passing in Neil Gaiman's comic book Calliope, an issue of the DC-Vertigo series The Sandman. In The Commodore, 
the 17th book in Patrick O'Brien's Aubrey Maturin series, Stephen Maturin remarks that his daughter will learn Spanish, too, Castellano. I am sorry it will not be Catalan, a much finer, older, purer, more mellifluous language, with far greater writers, think of N. Ramon Lul, but as Captain Aubrey often says, you cannot both have a stitch in time and eat it. Harry Harrison, in Death World 2, has his protagonist, Jason Denault, use the Book of the Order of Chivalry, along with others, to disable the engines of the spaceship on which he is being held. As the ship starts to blow up, he remarks I should not have thrown in the law book, it is more than even the ship could stomach. This comes at the end of an argument with his kidnapper, in which Denault attacks the idea that there are universal laws which apply to all human beings for all time. W. B. Yeats refers to Lul twice in Rosa Alchemica, first published in 1897, I turn to my last purchase, a set of alchemical apparatus which, the dealer in the rule of Pelletier had assured me, once belonged to Raymond Lully, and there were the works of Lully, who transformed himself into the likeness of a red cock. His first eight poems in the Green Helmet and other poems were published under the general title Raymond Lully and his wife Pernella, an erratum slip corrected this, an error by a slip of the pen when I was writing out the heading for the first group of poems, I put Raymond Lully's name in the room of the later alchemist, Nicholas Flamel. Gordon R. Dixon has the protagonist, Hal Main, in the book The Final Encyclopedia, 1984, refer to Lullin as combination of Wheel's device, which Hal states is nothing less than a sort of primitive computer dot. Disposition toward Judaism Lul's mission to convert the Jews of Europe was zealous, his goal was to utterly relieve Christendom of any Jews or Jewish religious influence. Some scholars regard Lul's as the first comprehensive articulation, in the Christian West, of an expulsionist policy regarding Jews who refused conversion. To acquire converts, he worked for amicable public debate to foster an intellectual appreciation of a rational Christianity among the Jews of his time. His rabbinic opponents included Rabbi Shlomo ben Adared of Barcelona and Moshe ben Shlomo of Salerno. Translations Moshe ben Shlomo of Salerno. Translations Moshe ben Shlomo of Salerno.